People have so much monetized ministry, monetized these gifts. These are gifts we have received by grace. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministry, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorted on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness. These are all gifts that we have received. How many of us use these gifts with the understanding that we are actually transacting spiritual business? If you monetize your gift here on earth, you have no reward in heaven because you have received your reward. How many of us know that wherever you find yourself, you could be a teacher in the classroom, you could be a traffic warden, you could be a doctor, a nurse, wherever you find yourself, any service you do, any good work you do, you are actually serving the Lord. You may not be a prophet, you may not be a dreamer, you may not be uh, an interpreter of tongues, you may not have all these gifts. But wherever you find yourself, wherever you are serving, in the church, in the society, in your environment, in your workplace, even if you receive salary, even if you receive some amount of wages, you are serving the Lord. And whatsoever thing you do, see it as service unto the Lord. Because he is the one that is going to reward you. Or you may say, I work for my salary. No, it's not just salary alone. So long as you're working, you're serving humanity, you need faithfulness. As if you are doing it for the Lord. It is business. Life is a business. We came into this world naked, empty-handed, and we are living naked and empty-handed. But... Those who are wise, those who are wise, they, they, they labor fervently, not in a lazy way. They labor fervently for the kingdom with the hope of not just eternal life, but the hope of receiving a reward. The best thing that can ever happen to anybody is to hear the master say, well done, good and faithful servant. That is the best thing that can ever happen to any human being in this world. Are you faithful?